Okay, so hey there guys. So today's video is going to be a first impressions get ready with me on the new ColourPop Disney Designer Collection. Um, so I picked up the Disney It's a Princess Thing eyeshadow palette, the two, uh, two shades of the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, and one of the ultra glossy lips. So I did not see a reason to, here's the actual packaging of that. Um, so I didn't see a reason to pick up the full collection um, because there is a lot of stuff in the collection and as you guys know, I'm again trying to really cut down on my makeup spending and not get too much stuff. But I couldn't resist picking up this anything from this collection because you guys know how much I love Disney and how much I love ColourPop that it's like, it's kind of a no-brainer that I kind of needed to pick up this stuff. So I am super excited to dive into the eyeshadow palette. This is why it's a first impression because I have not tried the eyeshadow palette yet. So I ordered this and the rest of the collection all on the actual launch day. <clears throat> I made a comment about it in my last video um, that I went off camera to go order it and then come back and film. Um, so I ordered it on September 28th when it launched and it came to my house yesterday. So yesterday was October 6th. So it took about a week um, to get to my house, but they do ship from California. So a week is usually standard to wait for stuff to come from LA. Usually line crime takes the same amount of time. So let's get into what I actually got. So this is the, as I'm dropping it, this is the ColourPop Disney Designer Collection eyeshadow palette. It's called It's a Princess Thing. So as you can see, the outer packaging has the um, signatures of all the Disney princesses that are on this or in this eyeshadow palette. So we have Jasmine, Cinderella, Tiana, Snow White, etc. And then on the back, um, sorry if the glare from the light is bothering you. We have all of the shade names in the actual palette. So I love the gold packaging. I think it's so pretty and royal and feminine. I think it's just so pretty. So then the eyeshadow palette has the little stars on the inside packaging. I'm going to stop blinding you with that outer packaging. And then this is what the inner um, eyeshadow palette looks like. Look how cute this packaging is. Like, so freaking adorable. So when I first saw this palette swatched on Treadmood and like on other Instagram pages, I honestly like wasn't like too into the palette. I think a lot of people felt like that and then people saw like newer swatches. I didn't actually get excited about this palette until I actually received it yesterday. I always feel like her perspective changes when you actually receive something because I can't have like any preconceived notions until I've actually tried it or have it in my hands. And this packaging is just stunning. So there's six Disney princesses in this collaboration and on this eyeshadow palette. So I really wanted to look up the reason why they picked these six specific princesses. So we have Tiana, Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Snow White, and Cinderella. Now for me, this would have been the perfect palette if Aurora was in this palette instead of Tiana. Tiana, like, I like her, but I kind of like all the other Disney princesses in here more. I actually could do without Snow White and have Tiana still and put Aurora in the palette because Snow White's like my least favorite princess, but I know Snow White is such a classic. Obviously, she's a she's the first Disney princess, so people are going to want Snow White in this palette. But anyway, so the reason why they made it Disney designer is because they designed these dresses for each princess to wear to their own movies uh, um movie premiere. I was about to say eyeshadow premiere. Um, so I think that was such a cute concept because I was wondering, like, why did they only pick these six princesses? Why didn't they put all of them in one palette? So I feel like um, that this is not going to be the last that we've seen from ColourPop and Disney. I feel like they're going to come out with another eyeshadow palette with six other princesses, like maybe Aurora, Pocahontas, Mulan, Elsa, Anna, and... Um, Rapunzel, that would be like a really, really cool, um, another um, palette, that would be um, awesome if those like those six princesses. Alright, so let's get into what the actual palette looks like. So this is the actual palette on the inside. Now on the back it has the shade names again, but I wasn't really going to go through them because all the eyeshadow palette names are on the front and they're all listed inside of the palette. So when you open the palette, you have the six names from each Disney 
Princess's signature and what I just thought about before I filmed this video. Like, I'm not trying to do a full review with this. Um, I'm just telling you guys about the palette. I'm not swatching all of these. I'm just giving you an overview. Um, I might actually review the palette when I use all of the shades, but obviously I haven't used any of them yet. I've just swatched all of them because obviously I couldn't resist swatching them yesterday. So we have six names on the top, and I feel like they kind of did that to be their autographs because obviously um, at a premiere or movie premiere, they're going to be signing autographs. I think that's such a cute concept. So they have the six names of each princess. So it's Jasmine, Tiana, Snow White, Cinderella, Ariel, and Belle. And then these are the eyeshadows in the palette. So you have one row of mattes, and then the rest are all like shimmery shades. So you have like these really beautiful metallic um, shimmer shades, which ColourPop does these shimmer shades amazingly. I swatched this gold shade yesterday. ColourPop does gold so well. This is so freaking metallic, you guys. So I think I'm going to use this one on my lid. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I wanted to do like a soft pinky kind of look, but I'm not sure what lid shade I want to use. I'm really torn between um, One Kiss and Enchanted Rose. I want to use like one of those at least first. And then on the bottom row, you have more of these like purpley tones. So there's about two or three shades for each princess in this palette. So we have Chip, um, Beast, and Enchanted Rose for Belle. Then Juju, One Kiss, and Ray, I believe, are all from Princess and the Frog. I think Juju's from Princess and the Frog. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I could not figure out which movie that was from. All the other ones, I obviously know where they're from. Then for... My job is calling me. Alright, so my job just called me and told me that... Um, one of my coworkers actually called out because he's been like really sick lately. So um, she said that he called out earlier. So he she wants me to come in like an hour earlier. So I guess it's good that I'm filming right now because it's only twelve thirty and I was supposed to be in at. Sorry, I'm like so thirsty. So let's just jump into the palette, um, and then I'm just gonna tell you guys really quickly the rest of the shades. Um, where was I? So that was for. Uh, Princess and the Frog. Then we have Grumpy, Poison Apple for Snow White. I think those are the only two for Snow White. Then for Ariel, we have, um, for Little Mermaid, we have Triton, uh, Thingamabob, and I think that's it. Right? I think that's it for Ariel. Yeah, there's only two for her. Which this gorgeous silver is, like, calling my name, too. I really want to use that today. I might use that too. Um, then for um, Aladdin, we have Abu and Magic Carpet. So those are both for Jasmine. They actually, when I was watching the swatch video for the collection yesterday, because I wanted to find out why they chose these six princesses, ColourPop really covered it really well in their video. And they said that this shade was actually requested by Disney. And they said that... Um, they had to um, request this shade because they felt that there was a shade that was missing for Jasmine. And then um, for Cinderella, we have Prince Charming, Midnight Curfew, and I think that's it for Cinderella. Fairy Godmother. Duh! Um, and they're all like gorgeous shimmer shades. Like Prince Charming such a gorgeous white. Fairy Godmother is a really beautiful pink. And then Midnight Curfew, which I think is so cute because, like, you know, the stroke of midnight. So let's dive into the palette. Let's stop talking, Caitlin. So I'm just going to clean my brush off a little bit first. Um, I actually have a tissue over here. Don't worry, it's clean. I have not used it. It's just been sitting on my bedside table, but it's totally clean because um, I haven't used these tissues. Um, so, yeah, so I thought that somebody was coming in at, like, 1 or 1.30 to my job. So I'm a little bit confused as to why... I have to come in a bit earlier, but whatever. So I think for my transition shade, I'm going to jump into Grumpy first, and then I'm going to take Juju, because those are kind of the only two, like, light shades that are in the palette. So I wanted to specifically just concentrate on using this one palette. I wasn't going to bring in any other palettes into this. So we're going to take Grumpy first as my transition shade. Ooh, that is really pretty. I already really like that. It's like a really gorgeous peachy shade. Wow, that is like going on really nicely. 
So I wanted to film like super early because I just really, really wanted to try out the palette. And now like I'm kind of happy that I started getting ready a bit earlier because I didn't know I was going to be in or have to be in like an hour earlier to work. So that's fine. I got up pretty early this morning. I got up around like 1045, 1050. But I actually slept pretty well last night, thank God. So now I'm just going to take that and put that on the other side. Let's take a shimmer. So yeah, I didn't get a chance to try out the palette yesterday because I worked a morning shift. If I had worked like a mid shift or something, I might have been able to actually try it. But I worked from 10 to 3 yesterday and it didn't come until like 4.30 in the afternoon yesterday, which our mail is usually always supposed to come around like three o'clock in the afternoon but we have like a new mailman now and I got home around three o'clock and I thought that the mail was going to be here and then it wasn't here and then of course an hour later when I check whether or not it was delivered or not yet because obviously I can just see on my phone whether it was delivered or not instead of like constantly checking the mailbox um it was here at four o'clock I was like of course it wasn't here when I was driving up the driveway I have to go back down the driveway and pick it up so that was just a bit annoying um so now I'm just going to but hey it's not up to me it's up to my mailman um so now I'm going to pick up Juju there is a bit of kick up coming from Grumpy after I used it so just wanted to show you guys that I'm just going to blow it off that doesn't really bother me um so now I'm going to take Juju which is that really pretty pink shade and I'm going to try and use that as like my crease shade so let's see. I think it'll be... Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, I like these. Look how pink that is. It's actually going on really nicely. Okay. I mean, I know I don't really expect anything else from ColourPop because I, you guys know I love their pressed eyeshadow formula. I think they're great, so... But I thought for some reason I thought that someone was coming in at 1. Um to work. I thought Alex was coming into work because she said that Dave was not working today and Drissy comes in at 3.30 even though Drissy's coming in at th uh, 3 and I'm coming in at 3.30 so Shannon would only be alone for like a half hour or so so I don't know if she wants me to come in earlier than that but I don't know if she only wants to come in, me coming in an hour earlier I'm not going to argue with that because I need time to get ready obviously. Oh, that's a really pretty pink. I think I'm going to go with a pinky look today. Because um, I'm kind of really feeling these pinks. Okay, so that is the Juju shade, which is, again, a really beautiful pink shade. Um, so now for the defining crease shade, I'm going to go in with Triton, which is this really pretty, like, medium tone brown. When they actually swatched this on the ColourPop swatching video, it looks a lot more shimmery. Um, but I've been seeing that people have been using this a lot as their actual defining shade, so I think it's a really pretty medium-toned brown. Can I actually make some room for myself in this room? Okay, so now I'm just going to spray this brush as well because I didn't really clean them off from yesterday. So I just take my Sephora spray and all is well with the world when I use this because it's so good at cleaning your brushes off like really fast. Okay, so now I'm going to dip into the Triton. Hmm. It's very creamy. I do notice quite a bit of kick up with these, but it's really okay because they blend out beautifully and there's no fallout. So kick up has never really bothered me all that much. As long as it blends out on the eyes and there's no fallout on the eyes, then I'm good. Ooh, that's pretty too. Oh, I like it. And I'm going to just take a little bit more, just so we can define it a little bit more. It's actually, like, really overpowering the pink, but I kind of really like it, because it's kind of a shimmery crease now, and I think it looks really cool. But you see how brown it is now? Holy crap. I kind of love it, though. And now I'm going to do it on the other side. I don't know, I was very iffy about this palette. I wasn't sure how much I was actually going to get any, like, real use out of it because I have just, I had just gotten the Dream Street, not the Dream Street, the Zodiac palette before this, 
and I wasn't sure how much I was going to use that palette. Now I actually use that palette quite a bit. So, um, but since this is like an everyday neutral palette, I don't think I'm going to have that much trouble like using it that often. So on camera, it looks a lot more brown than it actually is in person. I can still see the pink coming through um, in person. I'm going to drop all my makeup brushes. Um, so I'm just going to take that juju shade one more time just to add a little bit more pink dang these are pigmented wow jeez that like barely took any to like yeah see how it became pinker again oh that's pretty all right and then for the outer corner shade I'm obviously going to take a boo, which is right here. I was going to use all the mattes in this look anyway, which is this shade right here, which is that really pretty warm tone shade. And I'm going to use that to define the outer corners. It's like this really beautiful warm toned brown. And I'm just going to put that here. So for like um, the rest of my face and stuff, oh, that's so pigmented. Oh, that is really pretty. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but it's really nice. Oh, I don't expect anything less from ColourPop. They're always so good. I'm going to take that on this. I think I'm going to take a little bit of Beast as well and define it a little bit more on the outer corners. But that's real pretty. Um, so I'm going to do like my foundation and stuff off camera just to save some more time so I don't have to like waste your time not talking about the collection because I only got the eyeshadow palette and some lippies so I don't have to do everything on camera but I will do like bronzer, blush, and highlight. I might skip bronzer too and just do blush and highlight because I just do my, oh that's so pretty. These are so pigmented. Damn. All right, I'm just going to take a little bit of that B shade right here, and I'm going to take that on my outer corners as well, see if it's going to darken it up a little. A lot of people seem to like this shade as well. It's a really gorgeous, like, brown toned shimmery shade. It's, like, perfect for the Beast, which is a little bit weird that they're putting, like, the male counterparts in this palette. Hmm, that seems to be a little bit panchy. But I actually really like it. Um, it's just a little bit weird that they're putting like their like male counterparts in this palette because they're supposed to be about them. But you know, they're it's cool. I'm not like mad at it or anything. Oh, that's pretty. See how much it defined it more. Yeah, I like that. This is kind of turning into like a pinky brown look, but I'm like living for it. I wish that I could um, apply my lipstick like right now, but I'm probably going to eat lunch before this. So I'm not going to like um, apply my lipstick before I eat. Um, but it's only 12.40 right now and I'm not really that hungry. I wasn't going to eat until like 1.30 anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to put my glitter primer on my lid from NYX. I wasn't even that hungry this morning. Like sometimes I wake up starving or sometimes I'm just... Really not that hungry at all. The past couple of days I've been really hungry, like throughout the day, and today I just wasn't really that hungry this morning. But it happens. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So um I most this is not really a chit chat get ready with me. This is just like really my thoughts on the actual collection. Like I wasn't really gonna talk like too much about like my personal life. Because, you know, that's what the Makeup and Chill Fridays are for. This is kind of like an impromptu get ready with me because since I'm filming the Makeup and Chill Friday videos, like, those are my get ready with me's now. So I don't, like, flood your feed with, like, get ready with me's. Because I just, I'm so addicted to, like, doing my eyeshadow in my room now, like, on camera. I don't know why I didn't do this before, like, actually doing it in my room because it's so much simpler. Alright, so now let's jump into the actual lid shade because that's what we're all here for and that's what I'm here for. I'm so torn on which one I want to use first though. Do I want to do gold or do I want to do like 
more rosy color. I was going to use this shade tomorrow because I'm thinking about wearing like a red sweater tomorrow and I think it'd be really pretty. So I was planning on wearing Belle and then doing like kind of like a Belle kind of look tomorrow because Belle's one of my favorite princesses. Oh my god, I'm so torn. I think I am going to take one kiss. I just can't. I'm like so drawn to that shade. So yeah, we're going to we're going to do it. Look at this. So gold and metallic. So I'm like, yeah, I have to use it on my lid. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Why has no one else like featured this in a video? Like this shade. Because so I was watching some tutorials last night. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. I'm in love. I just love their shimmery shadows. They're so pretty. Alright, and then I'm going to take some on Dish Eye. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. Stunning. Because I was going to, I'm like so torn on whether I want to use Belle or Ariel on my lid. Because those are the, on my lid, on my lips. Because those are the two lippies that I picked up. The two Lux lipsticks. Obviously I needed the nude shade and I just love Belle. So I had to pick up her shade as well. And also because it was such a stunning, like fall rosy kind of lippy. Oh my god, look at how metallic that is. Oh, I love it. This is why I always apply with my fingers. You're always going to get full pigmentation that way. And I always put a glitter base on now. It really helps with transfer and stuff. I hope this eyeshadow doesn't transfer like crazy to the crease. But I'm really, really, like, the more I look at this eyeshadow, the more, like, pigmented it looks. Like, for the whole look. Like, I'm really loving this palette so far. Alright, so that is the gold shade, and I'm obsessed with it. It's so freaking stunning. Oh, so pretty. And then, of course, for the brow bone highlight, and then I'm going to go do, like, my foundation and stuff. I'm going to take, obviously, the matte, the matte shade in this palette. I'm going to take the shade Chip. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. Which is also a really cute name as well. I'm going to take that right here. I'm not like a huge fan of like shimmery brow bones. I like a matte brow bone. I know some people are really big fans of like shimmery brow bones. But I'm not really into it. I know some people were taking like Prince Charming on the brow bone. But I'm not about that life. And since there's already a matte kind of ivory shade in here, I can just do that. So that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow right now. Again, I'm like so simple when it comes to some eyeshadow looks, but I really, really like this look a lot. I don't know if that like Triton shade kind of got a little bit lost with this look, but I'm really loving how this looks anyway. Yeah, like super, super pretty. Yeah, I really like it so far. So that is pretty much the eyes for now. So now I'm going to go and um, do my foundation and everything, and then I'll come back and do, like, the lower lash line. Okay, so I just did my um, primer, foundation, um, concealer, and then I set my under eyes. So I just used the CoverGirl, Outla CoverGirl True Blend Primer with the NYX Primer Spray before that. Then I went in with the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in the color... It's the lightest color. I forget what it's called. N5, whatever it is, F5. It's like the lightest color in the collection. And then I went in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the color Ivory. It's the lightest shade as well. And then I set my under eyes with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. So now I'm going to do the lower lash line. This foundation looks so good on camera right now. And it's not just because I'm using a bunch of ColourPop products. Um, and I think that the eyeshadow actually looks better on camera now than in person. Like, I feel like I always change my opinion about eyeshadows, like, in person and off camera and all that other good stuff. Um, but, and I usually use this, um, foundation when I'm using ColourPop products, but also because I haven't used it in, like, a week. So, like, I like to rotate my foundations as much as possible. So, um, for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shades Grumpy and Triton, and I'm going to smudge both of those on the lower lash line. 
Um, so I'm just going to take my um, little defining brush and I'm going to take both of those and put them on the lower lash line. Those two are just like kind of calling my name to use on the lower lash line. Oh, those are so pretty. I'm really liking this palette so far. Not just because it's Disney, because I really love the ColourPop formula. It really, it really rarely disappoints me, so I'm all for it. I'm probably going to be using this palette for like the majority of the week so I can really test out the shades because I want to use like, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to be using most of the like matte shades like over and over, but um, I really want to test out a lot of the lid shades, so. I mean, obviously, I feel like it's going to take me a little while to test out all of them, but I'm here for it. So for like most of this week, I've been wearing, I forgot to mention this in my Get Ready With Me video on Friday, I've been wearing like a lot of palettes that I've been trying to make progress on hitting pan, because I actually hit pan on three shades on the Modern Renaissance palette this year, which is insane to me, and I said that in my um, favorites video. Um, I hit pan on Primavera and Vermeer, which I told you guys in my halfway through the year update video. And then um, I also hit pan on a Dose of Colors eyeshadow. So I'm super excited to share that in my um, end of the year updates video. So I used that Baked Browns eyeshadow palette this past Monday, and I just hit pan on one of the shades in that palette after I used it. Um on Monday and then um I've been using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette like twice this week I did like a warm tone like reddish kind of look with it and then I did like a pinky tone look with it yesterday because I'm trying to hit pan on Venetian Red and uh what's the other shade Venetian Red and Buon Fresco but I can't believe how much progress I've been making so I've been using that palette then I've also been using the ColourPop Single Shadows because I'm trying to hit shadows Shadows because I'm trying to hit pan on wake up call and note to self which those are like so impossible to hit pan on It's like so hard to hit pan on them And then um, I also use the dream street palette because I'm trying to hit pan on one of the um, Like the peachy the PG shade or like the shooting star shade So I've just been using those palettes this week So I was like really excited to get a new palette But I also used the Kat Von D metal matte palette this week as well for like a purpley look on like um Thursday. So anyway, um, for the inner corners, I'm so torn on whether I want to use Prince Charming or Ray. I think I'm going to mix both together, but I'm really, really drawn towards Ray to use in this look since I used the gold on the lid. I think I'm going to use that shade because it's just so freaking pretty. I bet it's going to be so freaking metallic. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. Ooh, that's pretty. When I was actually watching, like, reviews on this, when people used Prince, Char Prince Charming on the inner corners, Charming, it looked so, like, it looked like fairy dust. It looked like it was glowing from their inner corners. I'm going to take a little bit up here, too. That's really stunning. I'm going to take a little bit of Prince Charming as well. I just want to do the other side first. Before I get, like, glitter fallout everywhere. Gotta go fix that. But that is really stunning. <sighs> really pretty. And then I'm going to take that Prince Charming shade as well. And I'm going to put that on the inner corners too. If I could speak today. Because I really want the inner corners to be, like, glowing. And I really need to clean up the under eyes on this side because we got, like, eyeshadow all up in there. And I didn't bring my beauty blender into my room, so let me get, go do that real quick. If I could actually move my mouse. There we go. Alright, so that's it for the eyes for now. Um, so now I'm just going to take Max Costa Riche and line my waterline.
I should have um, gotten rid of like the wrinkles on my or like the settling into my fine lines before I powder but I don't really care and then for the mascara I'm just gonna pop on the Clinique um, lash power mascara just cuz I'm super lazy and don't feel like using two mascaras today and this one gets the job done for both I use this on my lower lash lines literally every day I know people are like head over heels for the Mac extended play and I love that one as well but this one is literally like the same and I use it on the top and bottom lashes because it's just so good but I also see that Jaclyn Hill uses it on her top and bottom lashes and that's like the only mascara she ever uses. She never really mentions her mascara in her videos, which I don't know why, but I can always tell it's the MAC Extended Play that she uses them under falsies all the time. Uses that under falsies all the time. Alright, so I'm just going to do that on the top and bottom. It really is insane how much eyeliner and mascara transforms your eyeshadow look. And I never do top eyeliner anymore. Isn't that crazy? I just can't be bothered. I always would think that it would cover up like my lid shade all the time and I just wasn't about that. So I just stopped doing it like such a long time ago and now I like don't even think about doing it anymore. I know I got a little bit of eyeshadow underneath but it's really okay. It's not like you, re you can really see it. Um, so that is it for mascara. I think the eyes actually came out really really soft and pretty. I'm kind of really living for this look. It's really gorgeous. Um, but it's just like a typical pink and gold, but I feel like I would never really pair those together that often. Um, but it looks freaking stunning. And then I'm just going to set my face with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's already in here and I brought it in here so I could set my face. Um, I just really want to set my forehead first because I feel like my foundation is settling a little bit. And then I'm just going to do the rest of my face. It's been like my favorite powder lately. And I'm just trying to hit pan on it. So I've been using it in like every video. And now I'm going to go do bronzer because I'm so bad at bronzer on camera. Actually, I could just use the Marc Jacobs one. It's right in front of me. So I'm just going to use this guy um, for my bronzer. So I might as well just do it on camera. Um... So I wanted to say something like while I'm doing my bronzer. Um, so I forgot to say this in my, I have like a hair underneath my eyes from my uh, eyeshadow brush. Um, so when I was hanging out with Cassie and her kids, I used to be like so afraid of like touching them. And like I really just, I'm not a big fan of kids. And um, I feel like the last time I hung out with them, I was so comfortable with like doing things for them like I was like doing the choo-choo train like feeding one of her kids like um Mackenzie I don't ever touch because she's in like a, still a baby so like she's not my kid so like I'm not gonna pick her up I'm like so afraid of like dropping her I'm not gonna feed her because she like drools everywhere so but with um Paisley she's like a little bit gross but um she really listens to me when I tell her like no don't do that don't do this like she actually listens to me and I was, like, picking her up. I was, like, doing the choo-choo train with her. I was feeding her. I was cutting up her food. I was walking her across the street, holding her hand. And I don't know. I just felt, like, a lot closer to her. And she said, I love you when I was leaving. And she said, don't leave. I miss you. She was just so cute. And she, like, remembered me as soon as I came and saw her again. So she's really, really adorable. So I just hit, like, more of the pan on this, um bronzer right here if you guys could see that so I feel like I'm going to use up this bronzer hopefully by like the end of the year that's like my goal because I've been trying to use up this bronzer for a while but like since I have other bronzers I use them a lot more often than this one now but this one is still so good all right so now I'm just going to grab my blush and my highlight because I thought I was going to do my bronzer off camera so I was just going to grab it I was just going to do my bronzer in there and grab my blush and Highlighter, but now I'm going to go get it. Let me just explain everything I'm doing. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so for um, blush and highlight, I want to go into this ColourPop Mermaid Glow Eva Gutowski um, duo. Um, I know I used this in my last like ColourPop first impressions like Zodiac collection video, but I thought it was fitting to use this. And plus, like these colors tie in so well to the look that I did because it's like a pink and a gold so I feel like that'd be really pretty with the actual look and I barely use this highlighter that I kind of really want to use it today um, and I kind of want to see how it looks like after I spray my face and redo it and I'm going to mix it with here kitty kitty from ColourPop so um so I'm going to take the shade um gold the shade Siren, this one's Golden Hour, obviously. So I'm going to take the shade Siren, and I'm going to put that as my blush. I actually haven't used this as a blush in a little while, so I'm excited to use it again. And I just, again, really think it ties into the look. I think it's a really pretty um, blush shade for this look. I'm not, like, the huge, like, the biggest fan of this duo but I again think that the shade is really pretty for this look so just like diet and then for the highlight I'm gonna take um, the shade golden hour which is this gold metallic right here if you guys could see it and I'm gonna take that as my highlighter I want to see how this performs when I spray my face first because I remember like when I first got it I really didn't like it all that much like I don't think it really does much but I think after I spray my fa fa face face I think it's gonna be really pretty like it's not a bad highlighter I just don't think it does enough like you guys know I need to be like glowing or I don't think it's like like, I really don't wear, like, subtle highlights. I really like really intense highlighters because I just love highlighters so much. So it's pretty, but I want to see how it looks after I spray my face. So I actually called my job back when I went to, when I was off camera, and I asked them, like, hey, like, is, um this other girl coming in at um one and she said yeah but we were supposed to have four people now we only have three like they're supposed to call extra coverage and if somebody calls out so that's why she said I should come in at 2 30 rather than um because I was like how come she doesn't want me to come in right now but at the same time like I would have told her like I can't come in till two because I wasn't even ready yet um but you know since since Alex was coming in at one she didn't need me until like two o'clock so now I'm just going to spray my face and see if I can kick up the intensity of this highlighter a little bit. So I'm just going to use the Make It Last Setting Spray by Milani. And then I'm going to just let that dry a little bit. So I'm going to do my brows off camera and then we'll come back and do the highlight. Alright, so now since I let that settle a little bit, I'm going to go back into the gold and see if that intensifies it more. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. I like it. So she, like I said, I've been learning this tip from Jacqueline Hill. Um, but I also really like directly just spraying my brush and applying my highlight. But I think that really helps um, intensify that more. But I'm still going to layer it with Here Kitty Kitty, which is one of my favorites from ColourPop. So I'm just going to take that yet. I was going to take the Innuendo palette, but I use that palette so much. See how much more intense that highlighter is? Like, do you see how much that added? So I don't know why the other one isn't as good, but whatever. I've been using the Desi and Katie highlighter like so much this week. I was going to use it in this video because I was using like new makeup in this video. But um, since I already used it in the makeup and chill fries, I've been using that highlighter so much like I didn't want to use it again in this video. I feel like I already lost some of the blush so I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Also, Jaclyn Hill always says that she loses a lot of the pigment from her blush in her video so that's why she puts on so much. 
And I feel like that's what a lot of skin, like, I feel like on fair tone girls, it always looks like so much. But, like, if you don't apply, like, more, it's just going to fade, like, 15 minutes later. So, uh, the struggle is real. So, now for the lips. Um, did I bring a lip liner in my room? I don't think I did. I think I have one in my backpack. Um, I just want to use a MAC one if I can find one. E. E. Do I have one or not? Yes, I do. I'm just going to use this. No, that's, um, let me see if I can find a lip liner. Just give me one sec. Okay, and then for a lip liner, I'm going to go in with Max Strip Down. I wasn't sure if I was going to do my lipstick now or later, but I kind of determined I'm not that hungry, so I was just going to bring a snack to work, or I was just going to eat a snack before work, so... I'm really not that hungry still. And watch, I'm probably going to be starving by the time I go to work. Okay. And then for the lipstick... Now, for the lipsticks, I got two of the shades. So I got the shades Ariel and Belle. I really want to dig into Belle today. Not Belle. Um, Ariel, and look at this packaging. It is so beautiful. It's different than their standard packaging, which just has the stars on it. But I'm glad that they actually made the packaging, like, um, transferred to this. Because they said that the um like outer packaging like it was gonna have this I like saw like an Instagram um comment saying that um I wish that the packaging was the same as the um outer packaging like that it comes in but like at least they changed the packaging on the actual tube um to like all of their signatures which I think is so cute and it says Disney designer collection and it has Belle um Jasmine Snow White etc and then it says Ariel on the bottom so Ariel is this really beautiful and this packaging feels really substantial and really, like, luxurious. So Ariel, of course, is this beautiful peachy toned nude shade. So I'm going to apply that to my lips. The only difference with this, now I'm kind of getting a little bit hungry. I probably am going to eat lunch. Um, it's, like, a really beautiful peachy toned nude. But the only thing is that it doesn't have the star packaging on it like um, the Luxe lipsticks usually do. So I'm going to apply that color. And look how pretty it is. It's like a gorgeous peachy tone nude. I'm just going to finish it up off camera. Okay, so this is the Ariel shade. Isn't it so freaking stunning? I'm obsessed with this nude already. I wish that it was, like, you know, a different princess. Because, like, Ariel's not my absolute favorite Disney princess. But she's, like, in my top ten. But this is such a gorgeous nude shade. So, so pretty. And some people were saying that, like, Ariel would wear, like, a... Um, like signature red lip, but obviously they gave the signature red lip in the collection to Snow White. Um, so they kind of, I, this kind of really reminds me of like the hair color that she has on the, um, front of the actual, um, tube. So it kind of goes with that. They didn't really make her hair like a fiery red like it is in the actual movie. It's kind of more like a peachy red. 
So I kind of feel like that's kind of the vibes that they were going for for the lipstick. And each lipstick is a signature lip for each princess. So now the other shade that I got is called Belle. And it's this gorgeous like rosy tone. I'm just going to show you guys the color. Look how pretty this is. It's so freaking stunning. Should I swatch it? I'll swatch it. Isn't that such a gorgeous rosy tone shade? I was kind of looking for a shade like this for the fall, and I was like, oh, this is kind of the perfect shade. So I only got these two shades. Like I said, there's a signature lip for each princess in the collection. And then I am going to apply the gloss over this because I want you guys to see how it looks. I might just leave it like this for work. But this is such a, you know, easy gloss to put over anything to make it just a hint of glossy, not like too glossy. So I got the shade Bippity, which is this really beautiful clear gloss. And I actually haven't picked up a gloss from ColourPop in a really long time, so I'm going to apply this for you guys. I already did wear this yesterday with Ariel, so it kind of has a stain from Ariel. So it doesn't really affect me if I'm going to apply it over this again. And since it's so clear and light, it doesn't really, like, make it too glossy. So I'm just going to apply this over it. I really wanted just a regular clear gloss for, like, everyday use. Because I actually don't own a clear gloss in my collection. Now, for the glosses, um... They're all named Bippity Boppity Boo from Cinderella, so I thought that was so adorable. So I got the shade Bippity. Boppity is like, I think like a peachy tone kind of color, and then um, Boo is like a really pink shade. So I wasn't really feeling those two, so I just wanted the clear gloss. So I'm now just, I'm gonna, I'm now just going to um, put on my jewelry and fix my hair a little bit, and then we'll talk about the collection. All right, you guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. These are the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. So, yeah, I would be lying if I really said anything negative about this collection because I'm, like, obsessed with it. I know that um, I usually love everything that I review or try from ColourPop, but honestly, they are such a cons consistent brand, and I really do love their eyeshadow formula and the pressed powder formula. I love these even more than, like, the Super Shock shadows, honestly. When they came out with these, like, they really slayed the game, and this is my third ColourPop eyeshadow palette now because I have the two from Kathleen Lights, and now I have this one. This one retails for $20, and I am going to try out the other shades before I say I'm in love with it, but so far, I really do like it a lot. I really like the look that I came up with. Just a simple pink and gold eye. It's just super pretty, and I think this is a really pretty wearable palette, but you can also kick it up and wear these shades on the lid, so I am going to try most of these out before I give my full thoughts, but so far, I really did enjoy it. Um, and then as for the lippies, I did try both of these on last night, and honestly, they're both freaking gorgeous. I do love the ColourPop Luxe formula, so I really do love both of these. I have to wear Belle on its own before I give my thoughts on both, but I swatched this last night, and honestly, it was stunning, and I usually don't have any complaints about this formula because I absolutely love the ColourPop Luxe formula so much, so... I can't really say anything negative about these either. And then the ColourPop Gloss, the Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Bippity, again, beautiful. I love the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip formula as well, so I knew I was going to love this one too. This one doesn't really, it doesn't really have as much shimmer in it as I thought it was going to. If I could speak, that'd be great. And I feel like my lip is like bleeding a little bit. But yeah, um, I thought it was going to be a little bit more shimmery. It's kind of just a clear gloss. So that's a little bit disappointing. I thought it was going to have a little bit more glitter in it. So it's probably the only thing I didn't really love. Um, but it's still like a really comfortable gloss, really nice on the lips. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, please let me know if you guys picked up anything from the collection as well and leave your thoughts below. If you tried it or not, what do you guys think? I would love to know and let me know what your favorite Disney princess is or who your favorite Disney princess is. Mine is Aurora, like I told you guys. Um, I do have like elf collections from the Disney princesses. They used to come out with like beauty books. So I have like the Sleeping Beauty Good versus Evil one. I have the Jasmine one and I have the Elsa one. 
but I haven't touched those in forever and they're probably expired by now and when ColourPop came out with a Disney collab I had to grab it because I just love their formula so much so yeah that's it you guys um, I'm also wearing a new Lucky shirt in this video. I wore it last Sunday to work, and now I'm finally wearing it again, so I obviously wanted to wear it to film. And I was going to wear, like, my stud earrings, but I was like, ooh, these go, like, perfectly with this. So I don't think they're, like, too crazy to wear with it. So now I am I am actually going to go eat because I'm actually pretty hungry. Like, I, right after I said I was going to just have a snack after... Before work, I mean, I'm, like, starving. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. I love you guys. I probably should bring a meal to work instead because um, I'm not going to eat again until like 730, but I was just going to bring a snack. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.